Okay, so summer has finally arrived, which is fantastic. And I am sharing with you the beauty product empties that I have for the last month. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. It's lovely to have you here. If you're no stranger to my channel, you know how much I adore filming empties videos. And today will be another installment of the beauty products that I have used up in the last month or so. Uh, just sharing with you um, my thoughts, uh, if I'm gonna repurchase, that kind of a thing. I have got a whole library of beauty product review videos on my channel. I also have an extensive library of guided meditations and um, a talking therapy called EFT or Emotional Freedom Techniques. Self-Care Karen is all about empowering busy women to feel their best and give their best. And if you'd like to know more about me and my brand and the products that I sell, please do take a look at the video description. You will also find a link there to my mailing list. Okay, so let's get going on the products that I've used up in the last month. Summer is finally here, which is really, really nice as I'm filming this. Um, and I do actually have quite a good selection today. So let's start off with skincare. So I recently did a video where I was reviewing the B by Superdrug Menopause range and I included a couple of other products from that B by Superdrug range, not just the menopause pause ones because there's only four items that they have so far just so I could complete a com uh, have a complete skincare routine so I will link that video up here but let me just go through the empties that I have from that so the melting cleansing balm I've used this before definitely would repurchase that love it the um, hydrating day cream was really lightweight gel like loved it would definitely repurchase this is from the actual the green ones of the menopause range i also have the eye cream which i really enjoyed using the hydrating eye cream and i have the uh, menopause comforting sleep cream again definitely would repurchase this this actually reminds me a lot of their the, they had like a soothing cream, which I don't think they stock anymore. Um, and this is really, really lovely. It's very rich, but I did use it some days when we were still experiencing Arctic weather here in London um, as a day cream with sunscreen over the top. Um, but also, of course, as the actual night cream. This is the comforting sleep cream. The SPF that I was using while I was doing that skincare routine um, was the one from Superdrug, the Defence Moisturiser SPF 50. I will definitely repurchase this. Love this. Does not leave a white cast. Really reasonable in price. Two, um, I do have another... Uh, oh, sorry. One last item that I was using in that skincare routine is this smoothing night serum with AHA, PHA, ceramides and squalane. I actually quite like this. This is a good way of exfoliating the skin chemically on an evening. So you put it on before you put on your night moisturiser. I didn't get any kind of adverse reaction to this, so I would definitely repurchase this in, in the future. The only thing I would say, it doesn't smell particularly nice, but you get over that. It kind of dissipates really quickly. Okay, another sunscreen that I've used up is one that I bought in Germany. Sorry. It's so one that I bought in Spain in a German drugstore. I haven't been to Germany for such a long time. Um, this is Sun Ozone Sensitive 50 SPF. Um, this is so handy. It was um, really handy to carry around in my handbag. I use this for myself, but also on my sun. It sinks in re really easily, but it's more of a kind of like suntan lotion rather than a sunscreen, I would say. Uh, but this was fine. Uh, another skincare item here is from, again, from Superdrug, their Me Plus range, which I guess is kind of a riff off the Inky List. The packaging looks quite similar to me. This is the Sika Jelly Mask. Now, in the past, Sika is Centella Asiatica or Centella As Asiatica. Um, it's supposed to be this kind of powerhouse skincare ingredient. I've not really got on with it. It's never done anything dramatic, but this is by far and away the 
best Sika product that I have ever used. This is a, it's like a gel, a see-through gel that you apply um, at night time and it really does feel like it's very soothing, it's very calming and it feels like you're really hydrating your skin. So I would definitely recommend this uh, jelly mask. And then um, another favourite from me, Superdrug Me Plus range again, this is the Squalane lip balm. I've tried all three of those, these lip balms in the range they have. In fact, I've got a review video up here. Can't really distinguish between them, but love this. Um, so we we'll definitely consider repurchasing in the future. I think I've got one left in my handbag on the go, which is a different, not Squalane. It might be the, I don't know if it's the Hy Hyaluronic one or one other one that they had. Anyway, I really like this. Um, it's very hydrating on the lips. Okay, let's move over to hair care. I recently did an unboxing and a review for the Blowout Professor who's got a YouTube channel's new shampoo and conditioner. His brand is Live Love Locks and this is the weightless volumizing shampoo which I have uh, finished. So if you want to take a look at that review video then please go up here. I still have the conditioner left, uh, some of the conditioner left. This is my second box of the L'Oreal Universal Nude Hair Dye. Again, I did an in-depth video of this um, uh, hair dye and I will link that up here unless I've run out of being able to link things. But anyway, I do have a hair care playlist. So if I can't link the video, I'll link the playlist. Um, not a massive fan. And then um, another empty here is the Color Sport Brow Tint. Again, I have got a dedicated review video on um, this um, and I used this up actually doing one of my beauty hacks which was just to kind of dye out the little roots that I had showing. I did this last week, it's already faded so now I've got some sort of gunky stuff on top trying to mask the greys but I haven't gone all the way back so you can start to see the regrowth but it's definitely a great beauty hack if you just want to quickly dye some roots that are showing, use brow tint. Um, I'm going to be tying out a L'Oreal brow tint tint next so look out for that video it should be live well in a few months I would say I'm quite ahead of, the, of filming at the moment I need to because of vacation and what have you okay moving on I have some denture clean cleansing tablets um i have now tried the boots ones i've tried sterodent which was what i was normally using and i've tried super drug it's all much of a muchness to be honest but anyway these were the boots ones they are great for getting stains off mugs though and they can help remove lime scale from the toilet bowl which i'm still it's breaking progress from mine because it's really really in a bad way okay and then i have a deodorant this is the isana anti Transpirant, antiperspirant must be, uh, Dio cream. I got this again in that uh, German drugstore in Spain. Um, it got very, very messy using this. And the, the problem is really you need to remove it with, you need to apply it with your hands. So it doesn't really work doing it directly onto the pits. You have to put a bit onto your fingers and then rub it on. And then it's a mother for loonies to get off your fingers. But it did work in terms of uh, covering up any kind of whiffs. Um, although I did notice that it stopped working and I started using a different deodorant and then I swapped back, it was okay for a few days. So I don't know if I became kind of a bit resistant to whatever is in here, but it didn't cause any form of irritation and it didn't seem to dye my clothes either, which is always good. Um, and then I've got two perfume samples. This is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail, um, which... I don't know if this is meant for men or if it's unisex or what, but um, I quite like this. It is it is quite a, I would say it's quite a masculine smell. I don't think there's anything left, but but I really, I didn't mind this. Um, just using up the sample. Sorry, I can't really remember what it was smelled like now. But And then I've got the Christina Aguilera, Christina, Xtina. I don't know how you want to say that. This is definitely for women and it's much more, again, oh yeah, I've got some here. I just tried to leave a little so I could sniff it on screen. This is very florally, um, very sweet as well. And I don't know if it actually says what it's supposed to be. Uh, bold floral statement of sugared rose petals, sparkling raspberry and warm musk. Well, I definitely get sugar. I don't know so much about raspberry but yeah it's a little bit too sweet for me so this was nice to try out but I will not be buying a full size 
And that is it. Those are the empties for the last month. That was like a bit of a whistle stop. You'll see that I've got more lengthy reviews for many of the items that I spoke about here. And just thank you very, very much for sticking with me for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Please think about putting a comment below, sharing the video. Any sign of engagement really just helps me grow my small channel and serve this video up to other people that might be interested in watching a beauty products. Empties video. Thank you for being here. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.